From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather in today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. More Arctic air moving in tonight, mainly west of a Cleveland to Akron to Canton line tonight. We have a wind chill advisory here. Wind chills by tomorrow morning's commute well below zero. Some of you minus 10 to minus 14. So if you want a snow day, I'm thinking over here, Lodi, uh, Millersburg, Mansfield, Ashland up toward Norwalk, maybe in, into Lorraine County. Best shot there. Rest of us, it's just going to be cold. Arctic air poised and ready. It's going to make several visits to the area, and the biggest shot, I think, is next week, the middle of next week. Tonight, it's 13 degree lows, wind chills below zero, a little bit of light snow here and there. Tomorrow during the day, you're in the teens. Again, wind chills closer to zero. Layer it, clouds with an early flurry. Danita. Thank you, Mark. Here's a look at today's top stories. Eight new lawsuits were filed against university hospitals over last year's failure at a fertility clinic that destroyed thousands of eggs and embryos. But this time, the family's also suing the company that provided UH with the temperature monitoring system and alarm used on the storage tank that failed. University Hospital says they have made enhancements at the fertility center since last year's tank failure and have also negotiated a number of settlements with patients. School buses got stuck on snow-covered roads in Akron one day after the city apologized for not clearing the streets in a timely manner. Akron officials say that as of today, every street had been cleared at least once, and crews were double-checking to make sure nothing was missed. Now the city is reviewing its entire snow removal process. Some local federal workers on furlough during the government shutdown are using their time to help others in need. The Akron Canton Food Bank held a food distribution this afternoon, and some of the volunteers there handing out and sorting food are workers from the Cuyahoga Valley National Park who have been out of work and without paychecks since the shutdown began more than a month ago. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.